prime and composite numbers. Multiples are the numbers we get when we multiply a whole number with another whole number. Multiples are basically the answers to your times tables. Factors are the two numbers we multiply together to give another number. Factors are also the numbers that we use to divide another number by, leaving no remainders. We can see that there are many numbers which only have two factors. Here we can see that 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13 all only have two factors, which are always themselves in one. We can take a look at this chart and see all the numbers up to 100 that only have two factors, themselves in one. These numbers are important and we call them prime numbers. It is important to note that one has only one factor and therefore is not a prime number. So prime numbers are numbers that are greater than one that only have two factors, which are themselves and one. For example, the number seven only has the factors one and seven. It can only be divided evenly by seven or one. One and seven are the only numbers that we can multiply to give the answer seven. Therefore, seven is a prime number. So all those numbers that only have two factors are prime. And all the rest of the numbers, which have more than two factors, we call composite numbers. For example, if we look at the number six, it has four factors, which are one, six, two, and three. Six can be divided by any of these numbers to give a whole number. And we can also multiply one and six or two and three to give us the answer six. Therefore, six is a composite number and not a prime number. It is also important to note that while we have said that one is not a prime number, it is also not a composite number. One has only one factor. One is not a prime, not a composite, it's just one of a kind. Let's have a closer look at these two numbers. You can see that 13 only has two factors, itself and one. Therefore, the number is prime. Four has three factors, itself, one and two. Therefore, the number is composite. What do you think of five and 12? Are these prime or composite numbers? Let's take a closer look. I'm going to first use the multiplication method. Well, we all know that one times five gives us five, but what other numbers can we multiply together to give us five? To show you this, I'm going to use a multiplication chart. Have a closer look at this chart. You can see that five only appears twice on the chart, which is one times five and five times one. Therefore, five's factors are only one and five, making five a prime number. Another way I can check this is by seeing what I can divide five by to give us a whole number. Five is an odd number, so it doesn't divide by two. I can't make three equal groups from five either, or four. I can only make five groups of one or one group of five. Therefore, this shows again that five is a prime number. Its only factors are one and five. Let's have a look at the number 12. Well, I know that one times 12 makes 12, and two times six makes 12, and three times four also makes 12. Let's check out our multiplication chart to see if I have missed any. I can see that 12 appears six times on our multiplication chart. So 12's factors are one, 12, two, six, three, and four, making it a composite number. If we use the division method, we can see that 12 can be divided evenly into 2, 6, 3, 4, 1, or 12 groups. 